Good day and greetings from the Great White North. My name is Prickly Pooh and welcome to day 143 of A Year of Change. Today we are adding another person to our ranks. Um, over the past couple of weeks we've been focusing more on people that are just sort of starting out. Um, we've had some people that have uh, you know, been doing this for a while. We've added people before that um, had been doing this and then sort of fell by the wayside in, in an attempt to sort of bring them back. Um, but over the past two or three weeks, um, we've really been sort of focusing on people that are just starting their weight loss. Um, whether it's that it's something that they're just beginning now or that they've tried in the past and they've decided to try something new with YouTube, things like that. Um, and this is one of those things. This is someone who actually we're sort of getting in on the ground floor. Um, her name, is, well, her channel name is uh, Luann's Weight Loss Journey. But she introduces herself in the video as Sammy. So I don't know her name. But um, she put up her very first video, and as of right now, her only video, about five days ago on August 5th. And um, it's a very short introductory video. It's the one I'm going to put in the playlist so you can go and take a look. Um, and just like us, she sort of says, here's what I'm looking to do. Um, and... You can see in the video, she's sort of gotten to the point where we have all gotten at one time or another, where we've really had enough. Um, we talked about this a while ago, that it's never really just one thing that sort of surprises us and goes, oh my God, I'm bad, I got, I've got to lose weight. Um, but just that we tend to get worn down. We get to a stage where we just can't handle it anymore and we think, oh, I need to do something. And so I think that's sort of been the catalyst for her to start. But the thing that sort of um, stands out from it is she, I mean, she gives a brief history about herself the same way that we all do. It's, it's the same story that we've all had where, um, you know, we know where our weak points are. We know how difficult it is. We've tried things in the past and it hasn't worked. And so we'll switch and we'll try something else and that doesn't work. So we sort of gain the weight back and then we go back and forth and back and forth. So the story itself um, is something that's very familiar to all of us. But she gives herself a bit of a message um, at the beginning or near the end of the video. And it's really, it's sort of a message to herself. And it's something that um, I don't think that we've seen yet with other people. Um, it might be something that's sort of in the back of our minds that, I mean, we all sort of think that, that when we go back a year from now and take a look at ourselves at the very beginning and say, no, I've made a difference. I've made progress. It may not be right where I want to be you know, at the end, but it's significant progress. And we all sort of look forward to that one year mark when we can look back and visually see a difference in how we look and how we feel and just our eating habits and everything. Um, but she actually does go right out there and give herself a message um, to, you know, to herself a year in the future. And it does sort of stand out because it's something that we've all sort of done, whether consciously or subconsciously. But it's when she's doing it, it's not a, hey, you can see yourself. This is what you looked like a year ago. Things are going great. Um, it really is a plea. And it's the same sort of feeling that we've all gotten where we're begging ourselves, do something, make a change, do something different, get yourself to a point where you're feeling better and you're healthier and you look better. And there's nothing wrong, by the way, with having that as part of your goal. Um, we do seem to, we do focus a lot on, you know, well, we need to lose the weight so that we can get healthy and everything else. But there is that underlying tone through all of us that saying we want to look better. We don't like what we see when we look in the mirror. Um, and no matter how harshly you judge yourself, um, it may be different for other, for different people, but we know what we look like and we don't want to look that way anymore. And it doesn't make you shallow. It doesn't mean that you're, you know, one of those people that's just, oh, I'm just doing this so I can look better. Whatever your motivation is, it doesn't matter. Um, that's always going to be a part of it. But in her video, when she's talking to herself, she's saying, you know, don't ever get back to where you are right now. And it's something that, again, we've all said to ourselves that we look at ourselves, and especially those of you out there that have already lost the weight. Um, I know some people that have lost a tremendous amount of weight and they all say the same things. Like, I, I just never want to get back to that. 
Um, we've had some YouTubers that as they've progressed and they've said the same thing, they've hit milestones like 500 pounds, then they've broken below that, or 400 pounds, and they've finally gone below that. And they say, I never want to get back to that point again. Um, and it's something that I think that we can help with. Near the very beginning of her video, um, she does say that she's going to be going this alone. And I think it's really important that, especially at this very early stage, when we know how difficult it is and we know how scary it is and how daunting it can be to sort of put yourself out there, um, that she's not alone. That there is a huge community of people out here that, maybe not on my channel, but on other people's channel, <laughs> there's a huge community of people out there that are going through the exact same thing. Whether they have their own channel or whether they're just watching or whether they're following along with my fitness pal, whatever it is, that she's not doing this alone. That there are people out there that are going to be watching and cheering her on along the way and being able to prov provide tips and saying, here's what worked for me, here's what worked for them. Um, and so that she'll have a just a slew of information that she's going to be able to pull from and people that understand what it's like to not just sort of start out and bury yourself on a public forum like this, but something I'm very sorry about the noise. I'm going to try to cut that out. But not just the, the public forum thing, but I so completely lost my train of thought now. God, I hate that. <laughs> I was really on a roll with something. And now I've completely lost what I was going to say. Oh, this is horrible. Anyway, um, there's a very, very loud noise outside, and I'm very sorry. I'm going to try to cut this out. Um, but oh, there we go. Thank you very much. Anyway. Getting back to what I was talking about, and I'm very sorry, because <laughs> now I've, I'm just, I had a flow, and then it just goes, Doo! off, and any little distraction. Oh, they're starting up again. Never mind. Anyway, um, I've, I'm trying to think, get back to where I was. Oh, it's ruined the moment. Can you hear that? I can hear that. I'm sure you can hear that. Very loud, very annoying. <sighs> anyway, okay, we're going to try to ignore it and get back on track to where we're going. So, anyway, yes, there is a very large community of people out there. Um, we understand what it's like, aside from there, that's where I was going, aside from putting it out on a public forum like YouTube, there are people that are out there that don't have a channel that are just following along with us, that are joining us on MyFitnessPal. Um, people that aren't necessarily out in the public front, but that are following along and they are getting some information from us. Whether it's from me or from one of the other YouTubers that we have here or whether it's from a dietitian that they're visiting or whether it's someone that, that they met at a gym. Um, all these little bits of information, they're all going to help. Um, but I think especially when you're first starting out, um, it's nice to be able to know that there are other people out there that are going to support you. And that's what we originally wanted to start with this channel is that we wanted to build something, a community that people could go to and so that when they do falter and they say, you know what, I've gained this week, then we'll be able to say it's okay. We've, we've done the same thing. And it's not the end of it. It's not a matter of quitting. It's a matter of, you know, just saying, okay, well, I gained this week, but keep trying. And maybe next week I'll either plateau or I'll drop off again. Or if you get stuck and you're frustrated and it's just you're so discouraged because nothing is changing then we'll be able to go to you and say, okay, well, you know, try this. What are you looking at? Maybe it's something that's changed in your diet that you just have overlooked because we've all done it. Um, just those little bits of information, having another set of eyes to look at it and say, you know, maybe it's this, maybe it's that. And not, not necessarily being non-judgmental because every now and then we all do need a kick in the ass. But being able to be judgmental and say, no, you just need a kick in the ass. Of course, you're gaining because you did this or you did that. Or, yes, you're plateauing because you stopped like you stopped doing your treadmill or whatever it is that you're doing. Um, but coming from a place where it's, no, here's what happened with me. I hit this plateau here. I gained during this week. I had to go back and I had to review, you know, what I was taking in. And, you know, whatever the situation was, we can still offer that help. And it comes from a place where we really genuinely want them to succeed because we've all been there and we're still there. I mean, we're four or five months in already and we're still at a stage that, you know, we're still struggling through this. I am anyway. Um, it's going to be one of those things that we're going to be struggling with for the rest of our life. I don't think it's a matter of me saying, okay, well, you know, I've, I've hit my goal. Year's up. I can stop tracking my food now. 
and I can stop doing my treadmill and I can stop exercising and I can just go back to my old eating habits because I'm just going to gain it all back. I know that this is something that is going to be something I need to try. Something, I'm saying something way too much. It's something that, I, uh, <laughs> that I'm going to need to track for the rest of my life. I'm going to need to maintain that. And for me, it's going to be different for other people. Some of you out there, you're going to be able to get to a point where you think, okay, well, I don't need to track anymore. I know what I need to put in. You're going to be able to not have to sort of write down everything that you're doing exercise-wise because you're going to say, no, I'm enjoying it and it's part of my routine and I don't force myself to go anymore. Some of you can do that. I know that I can't. I know it's one of those things that I'm going to need to maintain. I'm going to need to stay strict forever. Um, I mean, that's how I look at it now. Ten years down the road, who knows? But for right now, I know that if I was to stop tracking or if I was to stop doing my treadmill or if I was to, even if I was to sort of falter in my tracking or if I was to stop doing videos, any one of those things, and I would just go right back into it. Um, and it's because we've talked about this before as well, because it's an addiction. We're, it's that food, no matter what it is, it's, it's always been a comfort. So that's where we sort of run to. So that's why we're trying this out for a full year to get to a point where that's not our first comfort anymore. We are getting better. So, but just in the 143 days that we've done so far, that's a lot of information that we've been able to share back and forth with other YouTubers and with people on my fitness pal and just sort of being much more aware of what's going on that, you know, I don't know about you, but, you know, I'm finding that I'm looking at news articles a lot more regarding health and fitness. Not necessarily just to say, oh, well, what else can I glean from it? It's just that there's a genuine interest there, again. Um, so those little bits help. And that lifestyle change will carry on as we continue to go through this year. And I think it's a, just a wealth of knowledge that we should be able to share with other people. So this is sort of why I want to start off with people that are just starting out for the next few weeks. Um, and I've got a number of different people that I found, um, some that have started a couple of weeks ago, some in this situation that were right into the ground floor, less than a week uh, from her original video. Um, but the main thing is I want to be able to send that out to people and to say, we, you're not alone. I know that it sort of feels that way, um, especially when you're just starting out, but there are other people out there that are going through the exact same thing, that know what you're feeling, that have said to themselves, I want to look at myself a year from now and feel proud that I've made a difference, whether it's a weight difference or whether it's an eating habit thing or an exercise thing, whatever it is, you want to be able to get to that point where you can say, you know, yes, I've, I've progressed. I've done something. I've succeeded in something that way. And the best way I think to do that is to get as much help as you can from other people. Um, we all sort of start this off alone. But throughout the past few weeks, the people that we've met and the people that we've been talking with um, and just watching what they've been going through, their successes and their failures and, you know, the good days and the bad and everything else, it does help. Um, if nothing else, then to know that there's someone out there that understands what you're going through, that is going to understand when you come back and say, you know what, I've gained this week. Because we've all had those weeks or one when you're just so discouraged and you think it's not doing any good. I don't see the point. You know, it's not happening quickly enough. Um, you know, all those things that sort of trip us up and in our past has gotten us to a point where we give up and say enough is enough. Then it's nice to know that there are other people out there that can say I've, we've been there. We know exactly what it's like. But as long as you're willing to keep on going or trying something different. Or just saying, you know what, no, I stumbled, but I'm going to continue on and go again. Then you haven't given up, you haven't failed, and in the long run, it's going to work out. So I've, I've turned this into a lecture. I'm sorry. <laughs> so anyway, her uh, channel name is uh, Luanne's Weight Loss Journey. So go up, take a look. I'm going to put her in the playlist under L once again, um, just so that they're easy to find. Um, and go, oh, honk, honk. Ah, oh, interrupt there's so many noises. I'm very sorry about this. Um, but go up, take a look, subscribe to her, send her a quick little message just to let her know that she's not alone, that there are other people out there. I'm going to do the same and hopefully bring her in and sort of gather in with our community and everything else. And I think that support is going to help a great deal. 
So I'm going to try to keep this one short as well. Um, there we go, around near the 15 minute mark. So um, I had a couple of long videos the past few days, so I'm going to try to cut that back a little bit more so that I don't repeat myself over and over and over. Um, and hopefully get things back on track to where they need to be. So thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, please poke the like button for me. In the meantime, keep yourself warm and fuzzy, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.